Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be doing a move in on my new Erin Condren Life Planner for 2019. Yes, I know. It's probably way too early to do this, but I'm very excited and I'm motivated today, so why don't we just do it? If you guys wanna take a peek at the inside of my planner, this is the video to do it, but if you guys wanted to see the walkthrough before I did anything to it, I will put it up in a card up above for you guys. I went with the Erin Condren Monthly Deluxe Planner in the Lux cover, which means that it is a hard cover that does not come out. However, you can put an interchangeable cover over it as well. I decided to go with the gold coil because there was gold foil on the cover selection that I got. And I also got a colorful planner in the January through December version. Here are a couple of things that I've already done. So let's kind of move some of this stuff over here. Um, I did get these paper tapes from Erin Condren. They come in a set of two. The link is down below if you guys wanna check it out. But I did kind of put um, a bunch of the tape over here. I really, really love this pattern for this year. Um, the only thing I wish I could have customized was I wish that this cover would have come in the white background as well as the navy background. Um, I mean, I do like the navy, but I, I would prefer it in the white, but that's just me. But I like this woven wonder pattern so, so much. I haven't put my name on it yet, because whatever, but um, I wanted to show you guys some things. So this year, I wanna be a little bit more diligent about actually tracking some things in my life, and um, I like to use these. I know that there's lots of other sticker shops out there that do these transparent dots, but the ones from Coffee Break Planner are very, very budget-friendly, and I do have a coupon code down below for you guys if you're interested, but I know a lot of people use these for tracking certain things, and this is really what I wanna use for this. Um, I don't, I mean, I'm kind of boring you guys. So like, I don't have kids, I don't have a spouse, I have a dog and myself. So I don't have like a ton of things to track, but what I wanna get more diligent at tracking, and this is maybe TMI, but I need to get more diligent at tracking my menstrual cycles. And I'm gonna do this with um, this little dot right here. And I'm gonna make a little like key up at the top as to like what things mean. So red is gonna be menstrual cycles. And fun fact, I know when my last menstrual cycle started. So we're gonna just put that in because this runs from July through December, even though this planner isn't from, it's only from January to December. But to be honest, you know when you go to the doctor and they're like, when was your last cycle? And you're like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what my issue is. I know for July when the start date was, so that was actually right here on Friday the 27th. And a pro tip, use a tweezers if you want to um, put these down correctly, because I can't put them down with my fingers at all. I use this, it's amazing. Um, Catherine has these, Catherine's at Coffee Break Planner. She has these in a bunch of different colors. Like you can use the greens to like highlight your paydays, or there's ones that are like a rainbow of colors. And then if she doesn't have these up on her shop, sometimes she only has this one. You can ask her when she's restocking some of these in like the full color if you wanna do like a specific color for something. So this is a sheet that I'm gonna keep in my planner this year because I wanna make sure that I'm tracking this darn thing. So um, yeah, but let me put this aside really quick as well as my little tweezer friend. And um, I'm gonna write down, you know, what that means. I just wrote cycle, cause I know what it means, but. <laughs> It's easier. Um, okay, so really, I'm not gonna be tracking anything else on this page. As of right now, if something else comes up where I'm like, oh, that'd be really pertinent to track, I'll do it. But right now, we're just gonna leave it like it is, and um, it's not the end of August yet, so I don't have anything else to put in there at this point. But oh, I know a lot of people choose to put like kids' schools or vacations or things like that. I don't have any like vacation coming up in 2019 that I know about yet. I have some things that are kind of pending out there, but nothing firm yet. So maybe when that happens, I'll put that in too. As we look ahead, um, this page, I'm not sure what to do with. I might do something at some point, and if I do, I'll update you. But um, in January, 
I have a few different things going on so far. I put a few items in here already, and I used, if you guys are interested in these sticky notes, I used these, I think it's called the Floral Ink Pattern, um, Snap-in Sticky Notes from Erin Condren. And I just have some birthdays in here. So I have my birthday, Doyle, my brother, and then I have a Culligan appointment on the 9th as well, which is also my birthday. So what I'm thinking about doing is not putting in birthdays on the actual days, but putting them on the sidebar here, because sometimes it gets a little mucked up. So so I'm going to be using some of these Chrissy Ann Designs stickers, and these are KAD00439, which are the lighter version, and then the more bold version is the KAD00438, if you guys are interested. I will also leave Chrissy Ann Designs down below for you guys, and unfortunately I do not have a coupon code for her, but she has amazing stuff. So I think for this month I am going to, let's see, what do I want to choose? I kind of want to do this bolder color and then I'm going to do this kind of bold teal for the birthdays. I think that, I think that'll look good. And yes, I'm going to put in my own birthday because you know, why not? Right. And I like these little event stickers because in the colorful part, I'm going to write the number of the day. And then in the white part, I'll write the name. All right. And you know, I was going to wait for a second because those don't <laughs> dry always the best. It always takes a moment because these are, um, they're not like a glossy, but they're like a semi-gloss or something. So I'm gonna put, oops, put it down one right there. That looks good. And I'm not really putting in a ton of birthdays this year, um, just because I mean, I know a lot of people, like don't get me wrong, but these are people in my life that I put in the planner that I, I may buy something for. I feel like in years past, I've put in a lot of different things, but then it's like, but would I really buy something for any of these people? Maybe, maybe not, I don't know, maybe, but I don't know. And I'm gonna put a little just a little birthday thing. This is also from Coffee Break Planner. So I just put that in there. I'm not gonna write anything on there at this point. Um, and then I also like to put in my trash as well. So I already looked it up. My trash pickup days are on Thursdays. I put it out on Wednesday, but I always put it in my Thursday column here. And um, I have trash one day and then recycle and then trash recycle, whatever. So I already looked up the schedule and trash is what is starting in 2019. So we will put that right here and then we will keep going with all of this goodness all right so that's it for January and then for February so I think I'm going to speed this up um, because I'm just gonna put in a couple of things and then I'll go through the rotation and show you guys my monthly spreads when I'm all done so let's speed this bad boy up I'm finally done doing my monthly spreads, so I just wanted to kind of show you month by month what's going on. I know I do have the flags in here still, and then that's kind of denoting what's over here, but we're just gonna go with it, because when I set up my monthly spread, I'll then have the decision to put in these, or if I just wanna like stick with this, and this, this is fine too, but you know, it's nice to see it. So in January, I've got all my trash and recycling, and the birthdays, like I said before, I'm not gonna have a ton of birthdays in here this year because these are gonna be like more people that I would at least send a card to if not get invited to like a birthday party or a gathering or something like that. Sorry about the noise. I think my neighbor's doing something outside. I don't know. So anyway, in February, I've got, you know, all the stuff. Plus I've got Gavin in there. And then um, for March, I've got what's going on in here. I may or may not be going to Disney in March of 2019. I'm not sure that's very up in the air at this point, but it's in there. Again, I like to use just like sticky notes and I use these um, sticky notes from Erin Condren. 
um, for the for everything that's in here, I believe, so far, because that's just what I had on hand when I was going through this the other day. And then we've got April, which doesn't have anything exciting in there. May, which has my mom's birthday. I also put Go Wild in here. Um, typically, they've always had Go Wild the first weekend in May, but I'm not sure when it is, but I just put a little note in there for me. And then in June, my dad's birthday, and then um, there's another planner event that I'd like to go to that I denoted in here. And then we've got July, which is really boring at the moment and then August which I've got a couple birthdays in and then September my friend Kristen's birthday and then October we've got this and then November we've got Jody's birthday and then in December nothing exciting my, my parents pay anniversary is right here but at this point I'm not going to denote that in there at the moment uh, moving on to the notes pages um, I actually played with this a little bit the other day and I wanted to show you what I have done in here. I actually took some of the graph paper and made this bad boy right here. And I totally took inspiration from Miss Jen over at Jen Plans. I will um, link her channel. I'll link her channel for you if you guys are interested. This is kind of, I, I actually just ordered more of these from Christiane Designs, I just ran out. Um, but this is my monthly tracking for 2019, all the things that I want to track and then I've got January through December and then I put you know one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve on here so to make it a little bit pretty for me um, but I've got a few things obviously you can put this however you want to in your planner but I've got budget wash bedding and blankets wash windows clean out fridge clean out freezer clean out pantry clean out garage air filter culligan service test my smoke detectors clearly you don't do that every month but you know just to let it let me know when it was done. Organize files, donations, toothbrush. I need to change my toothbrush head. Face mask. I like to do at least one a week, but if, even if I do one a month, I feel good about it. Clean out the car, car wash, and oil change. Clearly, I don't need to do an oil change every month, but just to know when it was done last is just peace of mind to me. And then I wanted to do this with y'all on camera, and um, this is a sheet from Small Town Grace, and I will link her shop below, and this is going to be my reading tracker for this year. Um, as you guys know, I really don't like these um, color pages. I just don't get it, so it's like not my thing. Um, this little bookmark is from Erin Condren as well. I just have had this in here. So I'm gonna cover up um, one of these little notes pages with this, and then this will be my reading tracker for the year. And you can get these in different sizes. I just selected the Erin Condren Life Planner and it fits the page perfectly. So let's put this in. And it's really easy to pull off here. Let's hope I can like line this up properly. <laughs> oh, we will see. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah, all right. So now I can put, you know, what I've read when I read it. So that's exciting. Yippee! Also, another move-in thing I did is I put my Erin Condren pen loop on the back cover here. So we are good to go. Also, when I get my little boxes yet again from Erin Condren, I will be using those. Also, another pro tip, if you do get those, use a tweezers. But this is gonna be it for my 2019 Erin Condren move-in for my life planner. I did get the hourly version, if y'all are interested, even though we didn't really look at those pages today. If you are interested in getting an Erin Condren planner or any of the products that I talked about today, all the links will be down below for you. If you like these type of videos, make sure to give it a good thumbs up and feel free to subscribe and hopefully I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.